Yeah, my name is Mika. I'm 20 years old. I'm Rwanda. I'm comic artist and graphic illustrator. I've been drawing since I was young. Drawing to me, it's like a putting my imagination to life. I like to hide my feelings in my drawings. When I wake up, I walk around the city. I drove the people I met with. I like to discover the city. Skateboarding, it helped me to move from one place to another. Just you feel like you can cross all the city without getting tired. Yo, hi. Hi. What's up, James? We are in Akesha Book Coffee. I used to hang out with my friend here sometimes, and when I'm alone, I want to draw. This is my book. Yeah, my first book I published it here. <laughs> yeah, it's so fun, you know. It's a children's book. It's called uh, Sim de Veda. Yeah, I really love it. Yeah, um, it's like a comic, a comic book. I drew it last year. It, it took me like uh, the whole month to finish it. Here in Africa, especially here in Rwanda, we didn't have a uh, comic books like these ones that we used to read when I was a kid. I was like, yeah, I have to do this. Salut. Yeah, what's up, man? What's up? Great, man. Cool. Thank you. Hey, I'm fine, man. Personnellement, c'est pas juste qu'on a envie de dessiner, on a envie de passer aussi un message. L'une des choses que manque, pas seulement le Rwanda, mais l'Afrique tout entière, c'est la narration. On sait pas raconter nos histoires. On ne sait pas vraiment les raconter. On aimerait, les... on a des histoires, mais la façon dont on les raconte, c'est des fois tu te retrouves, tu as envie d'écrire un truc, mais tu te retrouves, tu, tu l'écris comme si c'était DC ou Marvel qui l'écrivait. Alors nous, on essaie de, de, de créer des histoires pour inspirer les gens qui vivent en Afrique, les, les Africains en fait. Mika, il n'a pas juste fait un livre. Nous avons tous des histoires, mais Mika est le premier à dire. Vous savez quand je me lance Et ça, en faisant ça, il nous a ouvert les yeux. En fait, ce que Mika a fait, c'est de nous montrer à tous que c'est possible. Il devient une sorte d'inspiration en fait, pour nous tous. Et si Mika a pu le faire, pourquoi pas nous euh... Wow Yo, what's up, Valé Hey, Alex What's up Are you good Yeah. Are you good, man Yeah. Nice to see you, man. Hey, the shaka board. The shaka board. Guys, she shake her camera. The casque. Casque. Shaka casque. Shaka casque. Guys. Skating helped me to push my physical and to free my mind. <laughs> Mika is a beginner. He starts first learning to handle the balance, fall down many times, but uh, you see there is some passion behind it. When it's cool, you just turn. When Great. You just turn and you bring your weight back to the floor. Got it. Okay, let me do it again. Take your time. Skaters are very open-minded people, and when they see you also love skateboarding, when you have a passion for the same sport, you're directly into the family. <laughs> I have to fall down not just to be good at skateboarding. I learned something from that. I learned to be patient and feel like this has to happen. And when you fall down, yeah, you learn really a good lesson. It's a big part of skateboarding because we choose um, a goal just for ourselves. It's not coming from the outside. So uh, it's pretty hard to, to give up when you set yourself a free goal. So you try to, to reach it because it's even more worse to, to give up on it and to accept, okay, I not reached a goal that I set just for myself. When I 
um, say at the bus stop, I used to meet a lot of people, especially foreigners and uh, others. I really love to draw the movement of people. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you call me. I don't know what you call me. I don't I African <laughs> <laughs> It's very even to help me to meet a lot of people at the bus stop. And now they are my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I draw people out there to make them proud of themselves, feel like this is us, we have to love ourselves, we have to do our thing. <laughs>